What's up everyone, Wizzy Beats here, and today we're gonna make a trap beat. Let me know it's too much of your time, let's just get right into it. So I'm gonna press this plus sign right here, I'm gonna go to more plugins, I'm gonna type in complete control, and then we're gonna grab this VST right here, and we're just gonna go to piano and keys, and just find something you like, I guess. So I found this piano right here, and that's what we're gonna be using. So to make the trap beat, all we're gonna be using is white keys, so we're gonna go to the piano roll by clicking this button right here, and then we're just gonna start off at... At A, I'm gonna increase the size by going to the end and just left clicking, and then we're gonna skip a note, go to C, skip a note, go to E. Now this is our chord. That's an E minor chord. If you're enjoying this content, please don't forget to subscribe. On my way to a thousand subscribers, so you subscribe and you can help me out. So we're gonna drag this note, C note here, until there, and then we're gonna utilize a half step by putting a note right here. So it's gonna be B. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press Command B or Control B, shift it over to the other side. We're gonna press Command B or Control B again, shift it over. We're gonna press Shift down until we get to E, because our next chord will be E minor, and then we're gonna press Command B or Control B again, shift it over to the other side, and this is what everything sounds like right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna highlight the bottom notes by pressing Command or Control Shift Left Click. Highlighting the bottom notes, we're gonna press Shift Left Click, drag them to the side. We're gonna press Shift Down, and then we're gonna do that again. Shift Left Click, drag them to the side a little bit, then put them back, and then press shift, Control Down or Command Down. We need some top notes, so I'm thinking we'll put so with E the top note of right here. Then we'll bring it down to C. B, bring it down to G, B, G. I'm gonna press Command, Shift, Left Click, and we're gonna highlight all the top notes here, and then we're gonna put them up an octave by pressing Command up or Control up. Press Options R or Alt R. What that will do is that that will, that will just randomize the velocities. We're gonna press Options S or Alt S, and what that will do is that it will strum it a little bit, and I'm just gonna click Accept. We're gonna go to the Slice tool right here, and then we're just gonna cut off the edges. I'm gonna press Functions Delete or Delete if you're just using PC. Shift P to grab the pencil tool. This will, this is what the final melody sounds like. So now we just need a counter melody. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna press the piano channel rack button right here. We're gonna press this plus sign. We're gonna go to more plugins. Then we're gonna find complete control again by contact. I'm gonna leave a link to this to the description just so that you guys can get it too. I'm gonna use that. So we're just gonna create a counter melody and we're gonna use the ghost notes here to do that. So it's all C. I'm gonna highlight everything. I'm gonna press shift left click, just drag to the side a little bit. Then we're just gonna place this down here at G and it will just, everything will be normal. We're gonna press command up or control up, put everything up an octave. I'm gonna reduce the volume of this by a little bit. I'm gonna go to where my sounds are. Okay, we're gonna start with hi-hats. So I'm gonna grab this hi-hat right here. Right click, choose for each two steps. Grab a clap. We're gonna grab a snare. I'm gonna double click on the snare because I think it's a little bit too thick. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna increase the out until bring it in a little bit. I just wanted to, it was too long before, I just wanted to be shorter. So I like the way that's sounding now. So we're gonna put it where it just will, so we're gonna get to add some bounce. So all the first time it's gonna add, go ta, and then the second time it's gonna go ta, ta. That Drake bounce, if you get what I'm saying. So now. And then we're just gonna add an open hat somewhere. Oh, let me see if I can find an open hat. So I've got this open hat right here. So we're just gonna add it here, right here. We're just gonna add it on the four right here. And then we're gonna go into the piano by clicking this button right here. And then we're gonna start by the three. Right click on this blank uh, blank area right here. Press Command B or Control B. It will shift it over to the other side. We're gonna press Command or Control on the and left click on the area here, the blank box. And we're just gonna start this over again. And now this is what the drum sounds. This is what the drum sounds sound like. Everything together without the eight weight and the kick. Gonna have to add an 808 so we're gonna go back into our splice pack which is right over here and then we're just gonna choose an 808 we like so i'm gonna choose that 808 right here i'm gonna double click i'm gonna go into the envelope settings and now i know that the 808 is in c sharp so we're gonna right click on c sharp right here we're gonna decrease everything except for the hold and i'm just gonna close this go into the panel button by clicking this button right here and i know the first now we're gonna use the root notes to do our 808 so so i know the first note is a and we're just gonna increase this to the maximum so it's gonna be there I'm just gonna I'm just gonna bring this down to E. So this is what everything sounds like. I 
And now all you have to do is add a kick and then the beat's done. So I'm just gonna quickly grab a kick right now. I'm gonna go to where my 808 is, make sure the screen box is highlighted. Press Command C or Control C, then press Command V or Control V. I'm gonna press Options K or Alt K, and what that'll do is it'll bring the load down to C. If yours doesn't come through like this and it comes through like that, all you have to do is double click or left click on where the box, where it's uh, where it has a note here, and just drag it to C, and everything will be at C. I'm gonna press Shift D to show the notes, so that's what everything sounds like together right now. Thank you very much for watching. If you want more videos on FL Studio, some more will pop up right here, right in front of my face, and you can just click on those two.